The city of Berea, Kentucky, is a tightly knit community deeply rooted in Appalachia and famous for its college of the same name. There are several things that make Berea College stand out as an institution unique even among federal work study colleges. In particular, the college utilizes a labor program that directly complements the academic program. The following video will help you understand and familiarize yourself with one of the many things that make Berea College truly great. So, without further ado, welcome to Berea. Hi there, my name is Jessica and I'd like to talk to you for a little bit about the labor program. It's important to become oriented with aspects of the program that will be directly affecting you, the incoming student. And because this is an orientation video, I'd say we're at a great place to start. Every student enrolled at Berea College is required to secure a labor position. There, you work a minimum of 10 hours a week while also attending classes. Not only will your hard work be compensated, but it also pays for a large part of your education costs. Additionally, the luxury of going to an institution that coincide both labor and academia allows students to find jobs that can relate directly to your intended major or career choices. This means that students get valuable job experience while earning your degree. You might be surprised at just how many positions there are available here at Brea College. There are over 1,500 jobs for students to choose from. Working on the college farm, the college's technology resource center, and as a teaching assistant are just a few of the many options available to you throughout your college career. The program itself has been around since 1859 under the idea that students must share in the necessary labor of the school. From then on, it has become a valuable part of the college experience, which has only grown in quality since its conception. Today, Berea College is one of seven work colleges in the nation, all of which have a reputation for producing students of high quality in the eyes of employers nationwide. Berea College, Kentucky. Today, in its 100th year, a novel experiment in education is paying off. On this busy campus, 1,500 boys and girls earn while they learn. Between classes, they work turning out yummy hot southern beaten biscuits and loaf bread. While others are guaranteed work in a variety of student industry jobs. With a careful blend of study and work, these future nurses, farmers, lawyers, architects, and engineers make useful products to be sold in nearby stores with the label Berea College Student Industry. For Berea's undergraduates, there's the happy knowledge that education pays. Earn while you learn. That's a pretty good way to sum up the labor program. Since you're just getting started, let's start with the basics. There are a couple things every first year student should know about the labor program. First, you'll probably start out with a WLS, that's Work Learning Service, level one position, if you're a first year college student. Berea College uses a pay grade scale based on six levels. Jobs range in difficulty over the course of your time in Berea. The pay scale reflects this by offering higher compensation for more specialized jobs. These pay scales are referred to as Work Learning Service, or WLS, levels. The positions available at WLS Level 1 are intended to help familiarize students with the work ethic necessary before moving on to more specialized, more personalized labor positions throughout all semesters. All labor is important, no matter what position you have. Some WLS Level 1 jobs may include facilities assistance, groundskeeping positions, food servicing positions, public safety, and working at the recycling center. Now there are exceptions to some of the WLS rules. Based on the information you submitted in the labor assignment resume form upon admission to the college, 
all previous job experience, skills, and accolades are taken into account by labor supervisors. Higher WOS levels generally indicate more specialized work, so never hesitate should an opportunity arise to utilize what you might already know. While there's definitely a passion for labor here at Berea College, we're also students dedicated to our studies. The college recognizes this, and your schedule is set up around your classes. Faculty and staff will work with you to organize times that will work for you. You should never have to worry about labor interfering with your studies. What I've learned from students probably flexibility uh, is probably the biggest thing just because uh, the job is their time is very demanding and so a lot of times we try to plan work around student schedules and a lot of times that has to change a little bit um, and so for what we do flexibility is is very important and they teach it to me regularly it's every student's responsibility to clock in the method of time entry varies based on your department but all labor hours are entered into a campus-wide system called Tracy. From the My Berea portal, you can check in real time how much you've worked throughout the semester. At the end of each semester, there is an evaluation period where supervisors can evaluate the performance of their employees and vice versa. Allowing both employees and supervisors to evaluate each other is one of the many ways that Berea's many areas of labor become more refined as some students move up and new students come into the job. And I always tell students this, I have for, for all my years here, if I were out in an, in an, as an employer and I were looking at two students who both had good B averages at institutions, one was from Berea College and one was from another institution, and I knew that this student had done well, studied hard, and gotten good Bs, and they were a sound student, had great recommendations. But I understood Berea College that this student had done well, got good grades, had great recommendations, and handled 10 to 20 hours a week, and handled all of the issues that every 18 to 22 year old in, or older in this country has, this person is gonna get, get my attention much more quickly because I understand the nature of the involvement they've had at that institution. I think the labor programs give students at Berea a leg up that many times, I'm not sure everybody understands how strong that leg up is. At this point, some of you may be wondering how you'll be able to balance a social life when you have both a minimum credit requirement for your courses and a weekly hour requirement for your labor position. Not to worry, Berea understands the importance of having a well-rounded student experience. You'll find time to socialize with friends, participate in group-sponsored events around campus, and sometimes, most importantly, squeeze in a good power nap. Rising tuition puts the squeeze on many college students. They're caught between working for a degree and working to pay for that degree. A crash course in higher education. Work multiple jobs, hectic days. Numerous jobs. I'm stressed out. More school, more work. What's pushing students to take on so much? College isn't getting any cheaper. I have done 60 hours once with being taking 17 credit hours. That was interesting. <laughs> and uh, I work probably about 10 to 15 hours a week. Okay, and how many credit hours are you currently taking? Uh, 19 credit hours. I'm a freshman, I'm an econ major, and I have uh, a few jobs. Minimum that I work during the school week is 20 hours. The most it's been during the school week is, I believe, 35. Every day I work, I don't have a day off usually. This term I took 14 credits, and last term I took 15. The difference between other schools and Berea is that, on average, most college students work 25 hours a week for a total of 375 hours in a 15-week period. On the other hand, Berea college students work a minimum of 10 hours a week. That's a very efficient 165 hours. In COM 100, Introduction to Communication, we do mock interviews. And that's really opened my eyes, actually, to the impact of our labor program because it was always something that I respected. But in looking at my students' resumes over five years of teaching COM 100, I'm seeing that 
if students handle their labor position well, that they actually graduate with a, a work history and with a stronger resume than students at a college that did not have a labor program. So how exactly does our labor program work behind the scenes? The short answer? The labor grant. Every student at Berea gets one. Here's how it works. A large part of the labor grant consists of $3,000 awarded each term, paying for over 25% of your tuition. So that's approximately $18 an hour going to pay for your education. The remainder of the scholarship goes to the student based on the number of hours you work and the WLS level for any given labor position. For students assigned a WLS level 1 position, it's about $3.90 an hour. Multiply that by the 165 hours worked in a semester, and it totals $643.50. In short, first-year college students at Berea are compensated $21.90 an hour. This system truly enables the college's low cost of education and ensures that no student will be without compensation. And while all of this is going on, students are working together to form the backbone of the college's labor workforce, which, depending on your labor position, also helps the community itself. Beyond some of the benefits you have from simply being in the labor program, there are also many awards you can get for going above and beyond in your labor position. These awards are given to students who are nominated by either the supervisor or another coworker who has observed work ethic and quality that truly reflects the college's ideals. So we've covered just about everything there is to know about the labor program. But to whom do you go when you have a problem or when you just want to know a little bit more? Who makes all this possible? Who made this video to begin with? Come on, I'll show you. This is the Fairchild Basement, but more importantly, it's where you can find student payroll, the workforce training lab, and the labor program office itself. These offices and those who work in them are dedicating to serving you and your needs. Student payroll is where all financial matters of the labor program and its students are handled. Students will go here to sign up for direct deposit and handle adjustment forms for their labor position. Next to student payroll, you can find the Dean of Labor's office, here, the Dean of Labor and the Labor Program Coordinator facilitate questions or concerns in relation to students and the Labor Program. The Workforce Training and Development Lab provides staff and students with training programs, videos, and documents designed for some of the applications and technologies utilized in the Labor Program, like the Tracy Time System and Student Labor Evaluations. Anytime you have a question about labor, this is where you want to go. But it's not your only resource. To get help beyond scheduled office hours, check out the labor program on Berea's website. All relevant forms, trainings, videos, and other information like pay scales are available to download at any time. But the most important resource for any student is their own supervisor. Practicing frequent communication between the two of you can not only eliminate confusion, but promote a more comfortable and open work environment. So now that you know more about how the labor program works, how do you feel? Are you ready to jump in? Soon it'll be your turn to earn while you learn. That's all for me. Once again, welcome to Berea College and I wish you the best of luck in your upcoming semester.